So, what you see here, I'm logged in to a demo Nosby Teams account, um, uh, which uh, which is uh, here. So I have here my team, and uh, I have here um, these four quadrants, which we'll talk about later. These four quadrants um, help you customize uh, uh, Nosby Teams for you. And then I have a list of projects. Uh, these are projects I'm following, and these are all projects, actually, uh, uh, in my team. And then I have uh, my team here, um, and not just me. If you click all, I can see all people on my team. I have uh, Domi and Tom um, uh, for this uh, for this demo. But I'm gonna ask Magda in because uh, I want her also to help me out here. So what I do is just I'm just gonna add, their, add her add her to my team, which is really easy. So either I put her email address and, and send her an invitation, or I can generate an invite code, which is really cool because when you do that you can just copy this code and what happens is when you copy this code um you can send this code to everyone um on your team so people can just you know paste this code and and sign up like join a team and i have to accept them so uh, there is no like if this code gets out of hand you can generate a new code or you can just you know not accept people who are just coming from this code so it's very very uh, secure so um, I'll send this uh, code to uh, to Magda. So just give me uh, give me a second, um, and um, okay. All right. Uh, so I send it to Magda via Slack, um, and uh, now uh, let's continue with the demo. So um, again, project list, and uh, let's. Just create a new project. Let's make it like how how you know how how difficult is is it to create a new project? So um, here, uh, uh, let's say I want to create a new Nosby website. So um, as you can see, in Nosby Teams, when I create this project, everyone on the team will have access to this project. Um, in Nosby Personal, it's completely different. Uh, in Nosby Personal, when you create a new project, you have to invite people in. In Nosby Teams, because we are in a small team environment, everybody can have access to this project. Of course, if I have the Nosby Teams Premium, I can just add um, selected people and just limit the access to this project. But by default, the project should be visible to everyone. Like, why not? Like, as I said, you know, more transparency is better. And actually, in our team, um, I think I have like we have like. 200 projects right now active and i think we have like two or three projects that i i only have access to with limited people normally we have all projects that are just you know open for everyone on the team of course right you can add a project purpose and set a color but actually you know itself you know it's obvious what we want to do here so let's create this project and right there it's project i'm already following it if you can we can, we can see here and i can you know add a new task so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to uh, add, add my first task. Uh, there you go. We write homepage content. And then I can add another task right away. So um, let's redesign. Not be header. There you go. As you can see, there is an arrow here. So I can uh, add a task to the, you know, to the top uh, or um, mm, I can just go add it, you know, to the top or to the bottom of the list. Let's just add it like this. Okay, so as I said, the key is to communicate through tasks. So one thing is that I want the homepage to be written and I want it here. Uh, but second thing, I want to be clear what I really want. So let me uh, let me paste uh, uh, here. Um, I have prepared a comment here. Let me, let me do it. Uh, give me a second. Okay. So we need to show people they can work better without using email internally, how to have fewer meetings, and most of all, how to create more space for focused work. So this is what I want this new website to say. I want the, what you're learning here on this webinar, I want to transmit it on the new website. So let's keep it here. And Magda is our responsible for content on our um, uh, in our team. So 
I'm gonna I, I cannot delegate this this task to Magda yet. Here are all the tasks details, um, because she's not accepted yet in the team. But I'm just gonna leave this task unassigned. So this way, when she comes here, she can just very easily pick it up and just assign herself to this task. And then I'm gonna do the redesign not be header. Um, so uh, here uh, I. Uh, with with Nosby header, uh, I want to uh, show off both Nosby teams and Nosby personal with their respective promo videos. Uh, this way, people, when they go to Nosby website, they can choose if they want a productivity tool for them or for their team. So this is what I want from the Nosby header. And I want Dominica to be responsible for it. So I'm just delegating this to Dominica. OK? Pretty, pretty simple. Also, uh, uh, the cool thing about projects in and uh, Nosby teams is that they can have, uh, they can be just like a list of tasks or you can create sections. So for example, um, you can create a section like, um, uh, for example, uh, here, there you go, um, ideas. So this way, for example, if you have some ideas, like for example, about the, 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 the design page, let's move it to ideas and um, uh, let's 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 see uh, uh, you know who comes up with a with a great idea for this uh, the about page. Also, uh, if if you like this kind of Kanban uh, work, like you know uh, in progress, um, uh, ready or done or this kind of thing, you know if you like this kind of uh, Kanban boards, you can do it the same way. You can just add several sections here and just move tasks between the sections. It's very like very very straightforward, right? Uh, so let's for example here. Okay. All right, so um, uh, now, uh, oh, I got a notification here, pending teammates. There is somebody pending here. Oh, Magda, she uh, wants to join the team, so I'm going to accept her. Okay, she's here. And by the way, when I go to the team, I can check tasks of everyone. So I can check my tasks here, like what I have to do, uh, what Tommy is working on, and what Tom is working on. I can see it everywhere. Like, uh, it's very, very simple. So. Uh, let's go to um, uh, let's go to uh, one of the first of these four uh, quadrants. They are again for you. I mean, the cool thing about Nosby Teams is that we designed this app for team communication, so it's all you know about team projects, right? But also, we designed it for you to be able to manage it, to to see what you, what's relevant for you, what's important for you, like what you want to uh, focus on. So. Uh, this is the first one, single tasks. Single tasks is a place where you can write down what you're thinking. Like, you know, I, I, I cannot forget about this or I have to re remember, remember that. Something that is not still not related to a particular project, but it's something that you don't want to forget. And as you know from getting things done, it's really important, uh, you know, not, not to forget uh, uh, doing things. So uh, not to forget about stuff or, or not keeping stuff on your mind. That's why you should have a single tasks view. This is the only view in Nosby Teams that like really nobody has access to. Like uh, uh, th th when you put a task here, only you can see this task, right? And as you can see here, I, I create a task for, for myself, start preparing a virtual Nosby reunion because in our team, uh, in our all remote team, we usually meet every half a year uh, physically in a, in a hotel and you know we have activities and all that stuff. But of course, for the for the time being, I don't see it happening. And uh, here in October, we will have a virtual meeting, a virtual Nosby reunion. So I'm thinking about it. I want to do it, and um, um, I have to start planning it. So here uh, I put um, um, uh, a comment for myself to 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 remember. Okay, I need to figure this out, right? And there is an incoming icon here, as you can see, the same icon that is here. We'll get back to it in a second, okay? Uh, okay, good. So let's move to the second quadrant, activity. Activity answers a very simple thing. What's up? Like, what's going on in my team? And uh, as you can see, there are projects you created, a uh, programming project, marketing tasks project, and a new NOSB website project. And there are things happening. And the cool thing is that with this blue um, icon, you can see that there is a, a comment that uh, I haven't read yet. So, for example, there is a comment uh, uh, from Tom. And the moment I read the comment, it, it disappears. Also, if I uh, like when I uh, review everything, I can review the whole thing um, just uh, by clicking here on this bell. So 
the idea of activity is just to 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 catch up on what's going on in the team. And as you can see, um, the power of comments and internal communication is not only by here, uh, uh, men by, by by mentioning um, me personally, but we have also mentions for all for everyone on the team, and for people who are following a certain project. Because, for example, if I go to programming project. This is a project um you know I was created by my uh, CTO Tom but actually you know I'm not a programmer I I'm a marketing guy and you know I'm the CEO so I'm actually choosing uh, you know not to follow this project anymore I I'm I still get notifications if necessary if relevant but I, I don't have to follow this project this way I don't have as many projects uh, to follow uh, like as I normally would. So, for example, in on, in Nosby, in the real world, Nosby, we have more than 200 projects, but I'm following like you know, 10 to 20. Also, uh, there is a new project, marketing tasks. Um, here, I, I I saw that in activity, and I see that, uh, that there's something happening. Dominica is adding tasks like crazy here. So let's check it out. Let's go to this project, and uh, and of course, it's 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 a, it's a marketing project. I'm following it. But I'm actually, I want to make it my favorite because I want to make sure that this is one of the top projects I'm, I'm looking at every day. And let's see what's, what's going on here. Uh, Dominica is asking whether we should do uh, webinars more regularly. Of course we should, uh, right? Uh, let's, yeah, let's give it a thumbs up so I can just you know say, yeah, I totally agree with this. And this way um, uh, we are, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm approving this message. And then she's adding another one for social media. And there's the promo video. Ah, and this is interesting. You can see that Dominica, what she did, she got an email from Marco, uh, our video guy, an email with the link to our promo uh, video. Let's click on it. OK. Oh, there's a stressful image. All right. This is this is our promo video. Yeah, and yeah, we know a thing of to repair productivity. You should check it out. It's a very cool promo video, uh, but let's not <laughs> put it now. Uh, let's get back to it. So the, what what Dominica did here? She got an email, and you know, moving from email to tasks is easy when you can just easily forward things to your task management system. So in this case, uh, Dominica forwarded this email to Nosby, and Nosby automatically changed the subject of the email. Nosby Teams promo video to a task and contents of the email uh, to uh, to a comment, which is great. It's automatic. What you can you can do it here by just going to add tasks via email and just use this email. You can copy the clipboard this email. And then when you for, when you forward to this email address, this is email address of this particular project. If you want to just email stuff to Nosby teams to your single tasks, like to, to um, then what you do is you go here and then again ask us via emails and this is the email to your entire uh, uh, Nosby Teams account. And again, you can you know regenerate the email if the email goes out of hand, you receive spam, no problem, you can change it. It's it's very easy. And you can also reply to this uh, to this comment and you can reply to this person by just clicking here and you can reply uh, by email to this person which just launches your email client. So this is really cool. All right, so um, let's go back to activity. And like, um, I've read it all, new Nosby website. Oh, there is some new activity here. We'll get back to it. They're all in my incoming. So we'll deal with my incoming very soon. So I'm just gonna make it as red and I'll go to my uh, uh, incoming. Um, but before we do, um, I want to let's 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 stop for a second and talk about meetings because we said that you know we may, we do meetings differently and you can use Nosby Teams or you know your task management app to plan your meetings. So what you can do is like what we do actually is you when you go to marketing tasks for example, you can add a task you know uh, marketing meeting, and what you can do is you can schedule it for like for example I'm, I'm going to schedule it for next Wednesday and repeat it every week right very very simple and then hit enter it's done I'm going to delegate it to everyone unassigned um ah not really uh, I want to actually be reminded about it so I'm going to stick with with me leading the meeting so it's, re it's I'm responsible for this meeting and here in the comments we can communicate about the agenda what we want to discuss, 
uh, what you know what needs to be done, what needs to be talked about. Uh, we can link to um, to other documents, to other things. So it's really uh, like this is where we communicate. This is where we prepare the meeting. But actually, what uh, what we're also doing is you know we are you know better than that. We uh, take preparation for a meeting very seriously. So what we do is normally we have uh, we add a section here uh, called uh, meeting agenda, and over there we're adding tasks. Like for example, um, uh, in meeting agenda, I can let, let's lessons uh, learned from this webinar. So this is one of the agenda items. I can also move, like for example, strategy of social media. I can move this also to agenda for the next meeting. And um, about the webinar, let's ask about this. Actually, you know, promo video. We should discuss about this as well. So, like this way, people know that in meeting agenda we have all the relevant tasks, and they should just join us in here on the comments and let us know what they think about it. Right. So it's really straightforward. Like it's there is no elaborate agenda document or something like that. It's just a, a section in our marketing tasks uh, project. And uh, this way, it's it's uh, it's very clear. Uh, the meeting is very clear and the agenda items are very clear. All right. So now that we got meetings handled, uh, let's go back to one of these quadrants. So go to incoming. What's incoming? I love incoming view in Nosby. So incoming view in Nosby, what it does, it shows me all the relevant information that really requires my attention. If you've been using Nosby Personal, uh, in Nosby Personal, what happens when you delegate a task to somebody, it goes directly to their priority list. And it makes sense in a personal uh, tool for productivity. But when you have a team of, you know, three, four, five, or 10 or 20 people, then it can be just overwhelming to have people putting stuff in your priority. Like you want them, you want an, a kind of inbox, a place where everything goes that requires your attention and you can decide what to do with it. And here I have five uh, incoming uh, items. So for example, reminders. So I set up a reminder for this particular task uh, for today. That's why it showed up here. And uh, all right, so uh, I'm going to like make it my priority. So once I do it, it's like I've reviewed it. I've checked it uh, and I've decided on it, right? Then assign to me, rewrite home page content. Uh, okay, uh, why Magda assign it to me? Uh, can you upload the webinar? Oh, she wants me to upload the webinar. Okay, I'll do it also. So this is also my priority to upload her um, um, the webinar um, presentation. Uh, and I was mentioned in several places, like uh, new features in weekly Nosby Teams. Uh, we've got features shipped to production. Watch latest product blog. Okay, great. So I'm going to just acknowledge it. You know, great, perfect. Um, Google Calendar and iCal integration. Michael, people are asking for it. How about implementing it now? Yeah, let's do it. Right? And it's done. So it's already automatically made marked as reviewed because I uh, replied to Thomas, Thomas' comment. And Redesign Nosby header, I'm on it. Perfect. Dominica, thank you. I'm so happy that you're on it. Great. So this way, as you can see, uh, when I come back to the incoming section, there is nothing here. I've reviewed all the tasks that were relevant to me. And when I go to priority, this is where I should be focused on my work. This is my you know, focused zone. And uh, here, uh, I have two tasks right now, preparing the virtual announcement reunion. I'm going to do it after this webinar, but I'm going to do right now the, uh, the upload the um, file for Magda. Let's do it right now. I'll show you how simple it is. So I'm just going to go grab the PDF. I'm going to just drop it here. Um, here you go. And that's it. So, uh, and what's really important is that in Nosby, uh, not only we really take care of the you know whole privacy of your team, we make sure that everything is secure. We have triple backup technology to make sure that all your tasks uh, are triple backed up uh, to servers in different continents. So there is literally no way to lose your data because this is something we're passionate about, and we've been doing this for the last thirteen years, and we've never lost customer data. So you know we have a good track record, um, but also. Uh, where, wherever we can, we try to encrypt the customer, customer data. So, for example, all the attachments that are uh, uh, sent to Nosby are encrypted uh, with the, uh, in, in the connection and they are stored encrypted on the servers. So, this way, even our um, programmers, if they would you know, log into a server with customer attachments, they cannot see them because they're encrypted. 
Like it's completely secure. This is why Nosby has been chosen by many law firms as a, as a tool uh, to get stuff done, to upload their you know confidential secret documents because they know that in Nosby teams uh, or in Nosby personal, things are safe. And um, this is really important because when you think about it, many people use email and then, then, then they send attachments through email completely unencrypted. Like it just goes through email and everybody can intercept it. So it's really not safe to send attachments via email. So not only Nosby Teams is secured, you know, by SSH, by SSL connection, it's also encrypting, encrypting uh, the attachments. So there you go. I, I did, I sent Magda the, the, uh, the document so I can delegate it back to Magda. So we have this task ping pong. She delegated it to me, now I put it to her and I'm putting it out from my priority list. And that's basically it. That's, um, that's my live demo of the uh, of Nosby teams.